Derek joins us next from Hemet, California. Hi, Derek. How are you doing, Leo? I'm well. How are you? Good, good. Uh, I got a couple questions. Um, I'm an Army vet. I'm getting ready to start aviation school uh, next month. How exciting. You're going to be a pilot? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'm going to be a helicopter. Oh, wow. How fun. Yeah, yeah. I'm looking forward to it. It's been a dream of mine ever since I was a little kid. So it's it's awesome. That I ever since Magnum PI, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> awesome. Um, <clears throat> my question is, what laptop would you suggest for something like that? You know, for school and aviation and whatnot. Well, you know, I'm, I'm not an expert on what software they're using, but I would call the school and ask them, and this is true of any school that you're going to, a lot of people call in the next few months will call about their kids going off to college for the first time. What computer would be good for that? And uh, really the, the expert is the school itself because they'll know what software. So I don't know if there's a flight simulator you guys need to use or there's testing software you need to use. So that will help you determine... The, the kind of the basic thing, which is what operating system to use. Do you need to have Windows? Do you need to have Mac? Do you need to have, will Chrome OS be sufficient? Um, Chrome OS is always a good choice if all you're doing is basic surfing, email, word processing, spreadsheets, because it's secure, it's inexpensive, it's very reliable. And I generally, you know, when I hear these calls like our last caller with an older guy with Windows XP, I just feel like, ah, the poor guy's been suffering with Windows for years, mm -hmm. and it's overkill. Now, for you, it may not be. It just depends on what the school's expectations are. Uh, if all you have to do is write papers and take online tests, anything would do. But if there's some special software you need to run, so I would ask them. I would find out. Okay. And you're, you're probably going to want a laptop. Most students like laptops because you can take it home. You can have it in class. You can bring it around. Um, and there are a lot of – that means generally you want lightweight, long battery life. There are some very good choices in that arena, both Windows and Mac. Um, I, I, and what would, what would you prefer? Um, do you prefer Mac over Windows? or I do, but that's personal. I mean, it's a personal preference. There's – you know, if you're a gamer, for instance, you'd be crazy to buy a Mac. You should buy a PC. Uh, it may well be that I, I don't know if there's simulators that you guys use in the early days. Um, you know, for instance, just if you know, one of the things you, you have to learn is is the the control console and what all those dials and meters and buttons and knobs do. And an easiest way to do that is not in a helicopter, <laughs> but in a simulator. And there may be software that they use. I'm just guessing here. I have no idea. There may be software that they use to get you familiar with that, but I don't with the instruments. But I don't know. So um, uh, you really you just ask them: Is there is there is there any particular software I need to run? Um, Lenovo makes really excellent high-end, lightweight uh, uh, laptop computers that are for Windows that are highly prized. But there are lots of choices in the what they call ultrabook category now. You may be that you'll want um, something like a Surface Pro that has a touch screen and stylus. It may be that for the kinds of things you're going to be doing, I just don't know. And that's why you ask the bursar at the school or other students. You, are you going to take the laptop in the air with you? Then you might want something that's more tough. Uh, you know, Panasonic for years made the tough books to military specs, which meant you could throw it around, you could take it to the desert, you could get it wet. Yeah, or, I, I remember having one of those. When yeah. I was in that. They're not so, pretty. No, <laughs> they're no, not they're lightweight. Not. <laughs> they're not. No, but they get through the desert and bounce around that Humvee. Pretty Ex well. They handle a Humvee ride very well. Yeah, and that's that's exactly what you'll see, uh, you know, in Humvees. But it may not be something that you need, and it's, it certainly wouldn't be the most desirable computer for personal use. You know, not the battery life's terrible. That they, they, they are ugly and they're heavy. Oh yeah. So I just don't know is what I'm saying. But, uh, uh, you know, there are a lot of the good news is the choice on the Windows side is huge. Lots of good choices out there. Um, I do like ThinkPads uh, from Lenovo. I, uh, Dell makes a great a line of inexpensive laptops. I have the Dell XPS 13, which I, you know, just as a kind of it's not inspiring necessarily in terms of looks, but it's lightweight. It's powerful. It's got a beautiful screen. Um, highly recommend it. It's a perfect student laptop, but again, it depends what you need. MacBook Airs and the Mac... By the way, there'll be new MacBooks announced next, we think, uh, on the 21st, a week from Monday. So might be might be prudent if you're buying a laptop from Apple to wait and see if they announce new ones because we expect they probably will. Okay. Uh,
But I, you know, I you can't really go wrong, to be honest with you, unless there's a specific program you have to use. I love Macs. I think they're they're more expensive, but they're made with higher quality components in general. That's one reason. The other reason they're more expensive is the support is very good. On a PC, unless you pay for support, you're not going to get good support. Yeah, and that's that's what I always would, would like to get is the Mac. And then my second question is, you know, money is an issue. Of course. Do you know, do you know of an organization or some or a website that helps us vet to uh, accumulate a laptop or helps us with a big discount? Wouldn't that price? be great? Wouldn't that be great? In chat room, I'm putting it to you and the and the vast listening audience. Let's get this uh, let's get this vet man who served our country uh, set up in his new career. I love that idea, and I just don't know off the top of my head. Yeah, I've emailed, you know, Apple. I've emailed Dell. You know, ten years in the army, two tours overseas, and like, you know, help. Can you guys, you know, help out a little bit? You know, and I haven't heard nothing back from anybody. Yeah, I but, would check with the local vet organizations, see if it, uh, yeah. if they know of anybody, because uh, I think that I agree. You deserve it. You earned it, and, uh, and I think you deserve the help. So, um, Apple does have a military discount, but you're not in the military anymore. They do also have a refurb an outlet what they call an outlet store that's yeah. direct from apple but they don't this don't we're talking 100 bucks 200 bucks it's not a huge savings okay yeah um but uh, we'll keep listening and seeing uh, uh, i'll keep i'll keep my eye on the chat room keep listening and if uh if we can find a, a discount for you apple also has an educational discount i think it's around 10 percent okay uh, but yeah those are expensive computers that's the uh the real drawback they're kind of um they're pricey. You can get a some really an inexpensive com Windows computer, going to give you all the power. Uh, all uh, you know, I mean, there's really no reason not to get, say, a Dell. Um, yes, sir. Yeah. Hey, good luck. All right, thank where, you. Where, where are you going to going to fly commercial or uh, what kind of helicopters? Um. <clears throat> well, you know, at first you start off, you know, something like with the tour companies, you right. know, Grand Canyon, Las Vegas, till you accumulate enough hours. And then after that, you know, the sky's the limit. I'll you know, probably be in one of your helicopters. My wife loves helicopter rides. She's done. Oh, yeah. She's done Boulder Dam in Vegas. She's done uh, Hawaii. I think we, she wants to do a helicopter ride in New York. So we'll probably be in. I'll look for you. Yes, sir. Yes. All right, Derek. Hey, good luck to right. you. Thank you. All right. And thanks so much for your service. Ten years. That's a long time. That's great. Sure. Really appreciate it. A tough time. Veteransadvantage.com. Uh, Dell has some military benefits on that page. Thank you, Low Tech. We'll put a link to that in our uh, chat notes at techguylabs.com. Militarybenefits.info. Thank you, Level Day. That's another place to look. They have, Apple has some, some military benefits, so there are places out there. Ah, the Apple military discount is good for vets. Good to know. Good to know. Militarybenefits.info. Thank you, Lovell.